Hi everyone, it's Dawn, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, that panel and that investigation going on right now about the Ruby Princess in Australia. Remember how I let off all those passengers, even though there were sick people on board and it ended up spreading right across New South Wales and, and into Australia. Well, uh, we got some more information. So in the, a panel and while somebody was being interviewed and uh, talked to from the investigators, a Dr. Tobin, who is the chief bioengineer, who is one of the people who was in charge of saying yes in the email to let those passengers off the ship. And they came across and they said, well, you know, we read the files, we read the report. A couple symptoms, but the ones who had influenza type, type symptoms like sneezing and coughing it was less than 1% of the passengers on the ship. We also noted that they had not been to China, they had not been to Taiwan or Japan or any of the hot spots at the time of this ship getting ready to dock. So we deemed it very, very low risk. And as it turned out, it turned out to be super high risk. Uh, with what happened. So that was not uh, and then so they started questioning Dr. Tobin about this saying well why did you not wait for more testing and everything? Well it, it, it we didn't we didn't see the need. Well you also saw the other report you know there were other reports out there you could have looked at when you made your decision they said well it just seemed like a very very low risk to us because of this reason and that reason and you know but it, it it basically looks like they looked at a couple numbers and said ah looks fine to us dock the ship instead of taking heed of the warnings that were starting to come out from around the world and from the ship's doctors on board saying they didn't have enough tests to do this test they didn't have enough tests at the time and they did send away for some tests but they decided to let them off the ship before those test results came back and they didn't have like a regular disembarkation they just opened the doors and let them walk out off the docks you know what i mean it just there was here's your go see you later take your luggage and away you go it was a very strange almost rushed system and of course, in hindsight, they say, yes, we probably shouldn't have done this. We should have waited longer. And well, hindsight, that was, you know, Monday morning quarterbacks is always is always going to be the easy route. So it, remember all the first reports came out how the cruise line, Princess Cruise Line was hiding things. Their doctors were, fool, were, were sending were sending wrong messages or the captain was not filling out the reports they were hiding it so they can get people off the ship and now you see that's exactly not the case the cruise line did nothing wrong they were honest exactly with the government and with the health officials and they were cleared to let the passengers off it was at that point it now becomes the government's responsibility as to how those people get off the, off the ship. So anyone who is hoping and getting ready to sue Princess Cruise Lines on the Ruby Princess, you might want to turn and redirect those lawsuits at the people who now say that we looked at a couple things and it looked okay so we determined it was low risk because all the reports were exactly truthful. There was no misrepresentation from the cruise line side. They said, this is what we have, this is what we've done, what do you want us to do? And it, at that point, it was the health officials and the governments in Sydney that allowed them to disembark. So maybe, maybe, maybe swivel in those lawsuits heading in that direction. Well. What do you guys think? Did, 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 are you surprised by this? I'm kind of surprised at how open Dr. Tobin was ab about this. Um, of course, don't forget, this was still very early in the founding of what's going on in the world. 
Um, it was very early in the spreading. It was one of the first ships to get caught like this. So a lot of things were unknown. So I will, I will give everybody a break on that. Things were changing like this, right? Just look at the, look at, for example, just this week, who the World Health Organization announced saying that very few, it's very, very rare, very, very unlikely that if you're an asymptomatic, meaning you, you're showing no signs of the virus, you can't spread it. It's very rare, very unlikely, and people were going, wait a minute, that's why we close schools, that's why we close shopping malls and everything, because you said anyone with any kind of, you know, you know, that you may have symptoms, you don't know you have it. And then, and it's, that's what's spreading it across. And we, everyone went, wait, well, why are we in lockdown if that's the case? Because if we don't know we even have it and we're spreading it to people who don't know we, and we can't spread it, why are we doing it? And then within two days later, the World Health Organization says, well, wait a minute, that's not exactly what we meant. No, 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 let us be more clear. So they backtracked on things again, right? So they backtracked on masks. They backtracked on whether or not it's asymptomatic or not. They backtracked on a lot of stuff. So, so I'm willing to give people in March um, the benefit of the doubt of they had they were caught completely off guard and were just trying to do their best at the time. So <laughs> if we're still guessing now and making up things now that we you know and hearing things that are completely different from what we were doing all along. How do you put the blame on people way back in March other than you should have waited for some tests to come back? That's the only real thing that they did really wrong. You didn't wait a day or a day and a half for any test results to come back because that would have changed the whole story of the Ruby Princess. Let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think anybody's to blame well obviously somebody's to blame for what happened on the ruby princess but it, do you agree with me that it was you know so new at the time that people didn't really know how serious this was and it was just getting they, they were caught off guard or do you think the government just wanted that ship gone because it turns out it it wasn't the ship that was doing anything wrong they filled out the forms they sent the emails they talked to who they were supposed to do they followed the procedures that they were supposed to follow really kind of makes it hard to do any lawsuits on on that ship and there's quite a few that have come out so uh, you're going to start seeing some redistribution i think after these uh, meetings that are going on in this investigation let me know what you guys think down below and i hope you appreciate this video if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world whenever I can get out of my house and travel, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.